We're drawing near the end of the Lord's Prayer, our, our close look of the Lord's Prayer this Lent. And today we arrive at, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Uh, this petition in the Lord's Prayer received a lot of press recently. I can't remember if it was before or after COVID. Uh, but there was some, uh, in, within the Roman tradition, the Roman church, uh, Pope Francis was making some thoughts about leading us not into temptation. There was this, a lot of focus around the fact that, well, are, are we asking God not to lead us into temptation? Are we suggesting that God is the one that leads us into temptation? Um, or are, are we the ones who lead ourselves into temptation. So it gets to that, you know, the the which which what's our understanding of God? Is God the one that you know, you know, whatever? Is God the one leading us to sin? Um, I'm not I'm not going to use the time in lit to unravel that, um, but I want us to focus on temptation and evil. Um, whoever it is, whatever it is that leads us into temptation. We pray that we not be led into temptation. We pray that we are delivered from evil. So we're asking God two things in the prayer here. Help us in the day of temptation to stand firm and deliver us from evil, the brokenness of the world. Enter in God and defend us. Uh, the contemporary church, universal, often does not really like talking about evil. Um, there's some people that say, you know, evil is a fabrication. Well, okay. Well, why? Well, how do you differ? Why is there a necessity to seek good if there's if if we got problems? If we're having to try to be good or seek goodness in the world, then there must be the antithesis of goodness, and we're going to call that evil. Um, this petition of the Lord's Prayer is, is challenging, as I've already noted about what's what's really going on here. Stay tuned. Come by St. Andrews one day. Maybe we'll do a, a more in-depth study on this. But for, for now, for our praying the Lord's Prayer, think about what it means to be living in the midst of temptation. Think about what it means to be surrounded by things in the world that do not make sense, that are not of God. Call them evil. Call them what you will. We're asking God to be the strength of and our deliverance. We're asking God to be that strong pillar that does not lead us into temptation, but draws us away from temptation, that draws us away from evil. It also requires us to be willing to move away ourselves with God. God invites us, God protects us, but we can also Ignore that inv invitation or revolt against that protection. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Perhaps the best we can hope for at this moment in the Lord's Prayer is God help us to recognize temptation and recognize evil. And when our mortal selves are not capable of recognizing it, then help us recognize it and help us move away from it.